Yes, doctor. Welcome back. Sorry for a short interruption. Now, what are the predisposing factors for the erythema multiforme? Is it now clear? Okay. Mycoplasma pneumonia, herpes simplex, histoplasma, infectious mononucleosis. Then what are the drugs leading to erythema multiforme? Sulfonamide, trimethoprim, nitrofurant oil and penicillin. Crohn's, sarcoidosis, radiotherapy, stress and emotional factors. Anything can precipitate the erythema multiforme. So these are the typical lesions. In what situation are they typical doctor? They are classical lesions of erythema multiforme. So there are options given to you. Bullus pemphigoid, dermatitis herpetiformis, pemphigus. So that is the reason you need to differentiate uh, these various types of other lesions. These are the tense bullet. Can you see the tense bullet, doctor? Tense bullet hota hai bullus pemphigoid me. They are typically seen in bullus pemphigoid. Flaccid bullet. Please refresh your browser. Yeah. Sometimes internet will take us for a toss. So, yeah. So, flaccid bullet. Oh, what the Vulgaris me. Right? Vulgaris me. Flaccid bullet. And uh, bullus pemphigoid and pemphigus vulgaris. What is the main difference? Pemphigus vulgaris also has mucosal involvement which is the classical feature. Then dermatitis herpetiforms typically on the extensor surface you see the lesions of dermatitis herpetiformis. And what is it associated with doctor? Celiac disease is associated with dermatitis herpetiformis. And this is a typical lesion which can be seen in dermatitis herpetiformis. Achha bhaiya, dermatitis herpetiformis ko herpetiformis kyo bola? Isliye bola. The lesion of the dermatitis herpetiformis in fact looks like herpes infection. That is the reason it is called dermatitis herpetiformis is what you need to remember. So this characteristic rash that you see in dermatitis herpetiformis it resembles the herpes is what you should remember. So what are you able to see in case of dermatitis herpetiformis? In dermatitis herpetiformis, this is dermatitis herpetiformis. Dermatitis herpetiformis, sub-epidermal vesicles. And in the dermal papillae, there is a neutrophilic infiltration into the dermal papillae, which is the classical feature. That is papillary neutrophilic micro abscesses will be formed. Then the papillary dermis is the place where you find the deposition of the immunoglobulin A in the papillary dermis. That is the classical feature in case of the dermatitis herpetiformis. Now where do you see these lesions? So every time foreign medical graduate exam may you can see how frequently erythema multiforme multiforme is being asked as an image based question now the options given in this are infectiosum nodosum induratum shall we have two three comments about each of them why not erythema infectiosum is called kya bolte hai doctor fifth disease fifth disease it is a innocuous, contagious exanthem of childhood and uh, flushed cheeks and the rash will fade rapidly in one to two, two days and uh, there can be development of arthralgia in case of erythema infectious. So this is called slapped cheek appearance, lacy rash, lace means net net like pattern ko lacy bolte lace 
Lacy rash is a classical feature of erythema infection. It's called fifth disease. Bolte hai. Parvo virus B19. Incubation period is one to two weeks. And uh, before the onset of rash, even before this lavachy appearance appear, they are most infectious. Before the onset of rash, that is what we need to remember. Then uh, one two comments on erythema nodosum. This is called erythema nodosum, doctor. This painful erythematous node like lesions are erythema nodosum. By a clinician's erythema nodosum bolte, pathologist kya bolte hai? What is the pathophysiology of erythema nodosum? Erythema nodosum is paniculitis. Matlab? Inflammation of the subcutaneous fat is paniculitis. Clinically presents as erythema nodosum is what you need to remember. This is once more the erythema nodosum lesions classically. Now causes of erythema nodosum. That is a favorite question. Idiopathic in 20% streptococcus, TB, oral contraceptive pills, classical clinical vignette is given. Examiner tomorrow will give you a female presenting with this kind of lesions. Recently she took oral contraceptive pills. Doctor, what is your diagnosis? Bolke puchega. You should tell, sir, OCP hota hai. Predisposing factor bolke. Erythema nodosum, Dr. Murli Bharadwaj ne bataya. To isliye mera answer, erythema nodosum. Right? Now, inflammatory bubble disease, sarcoidosis can lead to nodosum. How do you treat? Rest analgesia, mainly. Usually, erythema nodosum starts with flu like symptoms fever, body aches, arthralgia. Red tender nodules in the anterior surface of the legs and shin. Then the borders of the lesions are poorly defined. Poorly defined. And uh, first week they become tense, hard, red and painful. That is the presentation of erythema nodosum. Very good. Abhishek says ulcerative colitis and Crohn's. Most common cause is idiopathic. Shweta is once more reinforcing. Septal paniculitis is the underlying cause. Excellent doctor. Keep punching the points that come to your mind. Right? This is the last but not the least revision of dermatology. Before we say goodbye to dermatology. Now, they do not separate, they do not ulcerate. A sub cheese except wale question me important statements. Hai. Then there can be joint tenderness, no destructive changes, etc. etc. Now, one of the options given by the examiner is erythema induratum. Erythema induratum was one of the options given by the examiner for this question we will also that means examiner ke question bank mein ye bhi baita hua hai so three four comments we should know about it iska story kya hai erythema induratum erythema induratum of basin basin bolte hain isko subcutaneous fat ka inflammation hai any erythema fundamentally is paniculitis but it is only mildly tender, dull red nodules, four times more common in women. Mycobacterial DNA is formed. Jab erythema, mycobacterial manifestation hota hai, wo hota hai bazin, bazin. But these erythema induratum, unlike nodosum, it can ulcerate. And it is precipitated by cold weather of winter. And uh, it is the commonest form of cutaneous TB in countries like Hong Kong. That is a quick story. 
I was happy that our online uh, crowd had gone up to 82. Suddenly we had an internet issue, it fell down to 48. Tell your friends that today we are not going to sleep without finishing dermatology. Now doctor, let us talk about leprosy, favorite topic. What are the tests which are used for leprosy? Clinical examination, split skin, slit skin, skin biopsy. Leprement test is only prognostic, not, not diagnostic. That is the point you need to remember. Now, what is leprement in leprement test? Boiled emulsified lepromatous tissue rich in leprobacillae. And uh, there is one Fernandez reaction, there is one Mitsuda. Fernandez reaction occurs 24 to 48 hours and it remains for 3 to 5 days. It is a delayed hypersensitivity like tuberculin reaction, but it is little significant. Now, doctor, thalidomide, where is it effective? It is effective in type 2 lepra reaction. Now, type 1 lepra, type 2 lepra, differences between the two, differences in the treatment, you have to be 100% sure. But yeah, type 1 lepra reaction ko kehte hai, reversal reaction, reversal reaction. Reversal reaction is a delayed type 4 hypersensitivity cell mediated reaction. And type 1 can occur even after completion of the treatment. And it occurs suddenly. It typically happens in TT type and BL type, borderline lepromatous and TT type of leprosy may type 1 hota hai. How does it present? Fever, cutaneous ulceration, neuritis, swollen painful nerves, most commonly alarm nerve is the one which is involved. And if you don't treat, it can lead to development of injury to the nerve, nerve destruction irreversibly. Peroneal nerve involvement can occur in type 1 lepra reaction that can lead to foot drop. So how do you treat it? Glucocorticoids are the mainstay of treatment of type 1 lepra reaction. Thalidomide is not useful, it is ineffective. That is what you should remember. We use clofazamine, but it is of a questionable benefit. So mainly remember glucocorticoids. Then type 2. Type 2 lepra reaction, what do you say, doctor? Erythema nodosum leproticum. Exclusively in lepromatous leprosy only, not in borderline or TT type, BL type, BT type, kahevi nahi, only LL type may type 2 lepra reaction. Kyo hota hai? When you are using, when you have initiated the chemotherapy, or if there is any intercurrent infection in a leprosy patient. There is a release of the antigen from the killed bacteria and that elicits a arthritis reaction, serum sickness like reaction, similar to Jerix eczema type of reaction, syphilis. Syphilis me hota na? Similar is type 2. There will be painful erythematous papules, malaise, fever, neuritis, lymphadenitis, uveitis, orchitis, gonorrhea, because it is an arthritis reaction, no doctor. Then it's like an antigen antibody reaction. They develop anemia, leukocytosis, abnormal LFT. Rarely it can even lead to death. So if erythema nodosum leprosy is mild, you can manage with antipyretics. Otherwise, glucocorticoids. You can also use thalidomide. So how does thalidomide basically function? What is the mechanism? It decreases the levels of TNF. It decreases the immunoglobulin Yum synthesis. Is what you need to remember. 
and clofazamine also in high doses 300 mg nightly had the same efficacy against the erythema nodosum leprosum abhi aagaya lucio mexicana lucio what is lucio sphenomena caribbean south america mexico ye dikhai deta hai lucio typically it appears in lepromatous leprosy so a lepromatous leprosy patient develops recurrent crops of large ulcerative lesions which are frequently fatal mediated by immune complexes that is called lucio's phenomena unlike type 1 lepra reaction or type 2 where glucocorticoids are useful they are not useful in lucio thalidomide which is useful in type 2 lepra not useful in lucio you mainly need to give wound care therapy of bacteremia that is what you need to do in case of lucio but one point you should remember exchange transfusion has got a role in management of lucio so before we say goodbye to this what is that two shot mck in tomorrow's exam tuberculosis leprosy versus lepromatous leprosy this table should be there here in the mind so tuberculosis mein anesthetic patch hota lepromatous mein diffuse skin and mucous membrane infiltration will be there even mucous membrane infiltration cellular immunity is normal in tuberculosis but absent in lepromatous hence lepromin test is negative in lepromatous leprosy plenty of steaming mycobacteria is the feature of lepromatous leprosy there will be an atrophy ulceration of digits etc etc in lepromatous leprosy that is a point you need to understand iska sahi jawab de do doctor ye question ka you are already super duper in dermatology i will give you a immediate certification come on punch your answer let me see how you will answer let's get interactive yes doctor question number 65 mere pyare neat pg warriors should you answer गोयल साहब बोल रहे हाइपो एनेस्थेटिक मैक्यूल सैयद हाइपो पिगमेंटेड मैक्यूल वैद्य साहब बोल रहे पेनलेस बर्न इन द हैंड एक्सलेंट डॉक्टर सर नॉट ओनली यू आर सीइंग नो हाउ वी आर ऑल डिफरिंग दैट दैट इज वन ऑफ द इंडिकेटर ऑफ अवर प्रिपेयरनेस राइट सो it is hypo pigmented macule 90% of the patients present with numbness doctor first temperature is the first sensation which is being lost and a hypo pigmented macule is the first cutaneous lesion so ilaya perumal sureka maran asper jindabad okay hypo pigmented macule is often the first cutaneous lesion temperature first sensation lost that is what you should remember acha bhaiya hum pura leprosy ke upar ek गर्मा गर्म रिव्यू करेंगे टाइप्स ऑफ लेप्रेसी वॉट आर द डिफरेंसेस एंड इन एग्जाम हॉल एग्जामिनर विल गिव यू वन इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इन वन ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ लेप्रेसी लीजन और आप रिकग्नाइज करना पड़ता है वो लीजन को देख के ये मुझे टाइप ऑफ लेप्रेसी बोल के दट इज द चैलेंज इन द डर्मेटोलॉजी राइट डॉक्टर हाँ नाउ intermediate leprosy this is the earliest mildest form of the disease there are hypo pigmented macules that will occur 
but intermediate leprosy stage which is the early stage may there is not much of loss of sensation now tuberculoid leprosy you get a larger lesion which is also hypopigmented erythematous macule but it is anesthetic it is anesthetic the infected nerve often thicken they lose the function so hypopigmented macula agar examiner dikhaye to aap kya bolna tuberculoid leprosy this is another erythematous border hypopigmented macula that is tuberculoid then what is borderline borderline bb bb kaun hota hai it is a cutaneous lesion but more numerous that is borderline then why call borderline they can call numerous tuberculoid no? differences less well defined borders then you call borderline borderline anesthesia is less severe than tuberculoid in this the disease can regress and improve so this is how the borderline tuberculoid leprosy skin lesion is what you are able to see this is another example borderline tuberculoid skin lesion kal ke exam mein aapko ditto ditto ye deke puchega very good inverts saucer abhishek verma is filling my mind inverse saucer i am going to discuss pura cups saucers irani chai sab kuch discuss karenge thodi der mein then borderline lepromatous just like borderline borderline even these are also macular but they can also show papules blocks nodules for the first time the moment it is borderline lepromatous punched out lesions the kuch are looking like inverted saucer that is what abhishek verma is telling agar saucer dikhaya dikhai diye to aap kya sochega inverse saucer dikhaye to borderline lepromatous in them anesthesia is absent or oh, initial stages mein anesthesia is absent borderline lepromatic also anesthesia is absent right now finally comes lepromatous leprosy small diffuse symmetric pale macules later larger deeper lesions that contain a lot of bacilli and uh, nerves are not thickened in this early stage and there is little or no loss of sensation unlike in tuberculoid leprosy please remember then medarosis loss of fibros and involvement of the eye will be there in lepromatous leprosy pain photosensitivity decreased visual acuity glaucoma blindness etc etc there can be testicular atrophy that can lead to sterility in lepromatous leprosy larynx can involve hoarseness can be there saddle nose deformity can be there swelling of the legs but what is the difference between borderline lepromatous and lepromatous leprosy borderline lepromatous can regress lepromatous leprosy does not regress so what is see doctor medarosis loss of the eyebrows is what you need to remember what a fun madhu bete hum bahut uh they are proud of you that's what i was thinking where is madhu where is madhu where is madhu actually madhu is the one who said sir whatsapp group start karna hai hamare liye every 5 minutes ko ek mcq dalna hai or before you start the discussion if you are discussing 50 questions give it like a powerpoint slide show so that we are challenged before joining discussion 
Some of the very good ideas were only introduced by Madhu Vite. I am so proud. DCH in this country is a bigger degree than MCH. Do you know what? There is a city from the village. Why did you do MCH? Why did you get a seat in DCH? Why did you get a seat in DCH? Why did you get a seat? क्योंकि गांव में रहने वाले किसान को डीसीएच बहुत बड़ा डिग्री है एमसीएच इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट राइट आई एम सो हैप्पी मधु एंड आई विश यू गॉट ए ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी प्री टर्म बेबीज हाईली मेम्ब्रेन डिजीजेस डिस्ने चिल्ड्रन डिहाइड्रेटेड शॉकड चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन विद टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ फैलो you got you got a god given opportunity to take care of everything so doctor always live in the dream january 5th exam hote hi we are going to break a champagne like a indian cricket team which won the world cup long ago and take a quick break so that you are getting ready to join that post graduation which is of your dream and by next month you will be running around with a way from blood bank to pathology pathology to emergency emergency to here and there taking care of patients only live in the dream and aspiration automatically achievement follows aspiration that is a simple rule achievement follows the aspiration Success follows a dream. So to have the dream is the first thing that you have to be very sure about. Right, Doc? Now, there's a saddle nose deformity. These are the nodules in the lepromatous leprosy. This is the disfigurement in leprosy. This is the ulcerated foot, etc. etc. Now, thalidomide, where is it effective? Type 2 lepra reaction. Saucer right side up is characteristic of which type of leprosy? Saucer right side up. Typically, it is a feature of tuberculoid leprosy. Doctor, this is the top view of the lesion. And side se deke to, this is the side view. This ko bolte hain saucer right way up lesion. So, a annular lesion, a annular lesion with a sharp outer edge and a vague inner edge that slopes towards the center, that is the reason it is called saucer right way up lesion. Typically, it is seen in the case of the tuberculoid leprosy, saucer right way up lesion is what you need to remember. Now, punched out, punched out deletion. Where do you see? Punched out ka dusra naam hota hai Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese lesion. Swiss cheese, what is the difference between the cheese in Switzerland versus the Kannaya? Krishna Bhagavan Khane wale. मक्खन और स्विट्जरलैंड में मिलने वाले मक्खन के बीच में क्या फर्क है स्विट्जरलैंड के मक्खन के अंदर होल्स रहता है इसलिए इसको बोलते हैं पंच आउट स्विस चीज कहते हैं सो एनी एंगुलर लेशन विद सेंट्रल पंच विद ए क्लियर इनर बट वे कैन स्लोपिंग आउटर एच इज कॉल्ड पंच आउट पंच आउट इज अ फीचर ऑफ बॉर्डरलाइन बॉर्डरलाइन टाइप ऑफ लेपरसी then angular lesions both the inner and outer edge are sharp and clear cut and angular lesions are a feature of borderline leprosy mostly bb type bb type then inverted saucer like lesion you are able to see the ill defined sloping edges well defined edges and central infiltration so 
inverted saucer like lesion typically is seen in the case of borderline lepromatous leprosy is what you need to basically remember yes swiss cheese lesion is characteristic feature of once more fmg examiner ka favorite question swiss cheese hota hai borderline borderline bb mein swiss cheese you are able to see here a lesion looking at that lesion aapko kya yaad aa raha hai what type of lesion is that it is a borderline tuberculoid lesion is what you are able to basically see so now you are the experts in the leprosy doctor and uh, i am very sure one more question examiner gives you are confident to answer right now yes so as and when as i am preparing our people are making the powerpoints like a hot hot uh, idli vada dosha so our team might have sent the next powerpoint so give me 2 minutes break uh, before i download that uh, powerpoint and then start the session yeah One minute, doctor. I'm just downloading that. Uh, next PPT. Two minutes, doctor, or otherwise five minutes interruption. Five minutes interruption. Our guys are uh, 
sending the PPT. So we almost finished 70 questions. We have another 110 questions before we complete the revision. So kindly be online. Five minutes maybe we will uh, resume the class. Yes, doctor. Now let us restart the game. Now, lymphogranuloma, venerum, chancroid, syphilis, herpes. One question from one of these sexually transmitted diseases. Inevitably, it will come, doctor. Agar paper mein ye nahi hai to, I will change my name, right? Now. An adult male presented with four weeks after intercourse with fever, rubbery consistency, ulcer, inguinal lymphadenopathy. So what is the causative organism? It is the classical story of lymphogranuloma venidum is what you need to remember. It is caused by L1, L2, L3 seromars. There are papules and then herpetic like ulcers 
on the external genitalia. There will be a painful inguinal lymphadenopathy, perirectal lymphadenopathy, just ko bolte hai bubo. If there is a oral sex, then cervical lymphadenopathy. Then elephantiasis of genitalia because of the lymphatic obstruction is the feature of lymphogranuloma venerum is what you should remember. So CWR L of chlamydia. Then one important thing is this chlamydia replicates in the mononuclear phagocytes. That is the reason there is a lymphadenopathy. Lymphadenitis, abscess, bubo, proctocolitis is what you should remember. So there are two stages in which lymphogranuloma venerum develops, first and second. Small painless vesicular lesion, fever, headache and myalgia. Second stage, bubos, proctitis, elephantiasis, fever, etc, etc. So how do you treat lymphogranuloma venerum, doctor? One of the favorite MCQ of the examiner, azithromycin. Doxycycline, erythromycin, they are the drugs you need to consider while treating the lymphogranuloma venera. Now, five, six points about granuloma inguine. Of course, this is the first time we have discussed this. You have to be a sub cheese. Fear me. Bar bar bolo, hazar bar bolo. राम नाम की जप करो मोक्ष की साधन के लिए एंट्रेंस प्रिपरेशन इज आल्सो लाइक भजन डॉक्टर भजन 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 ये नौटंकी है सो देयर इज नो अदर वे बिकॉज़ नोबडी विल सी लिम्फोग्रेनुलोमा विनरम नोबडी विल सी शैंक्रॉइड नोबडी विल सी सिंपल सिफिलिस आल्सो एमबीबीएस लेवल में फिर भी हम ये सब चीजें पढ़ना रिमेम्बर करना रिप्रोड्यूस करना कल के एग्जाम में देर इज नो अदर वे देर इज टू मच इमेजिनेशन लकीली टूडे विथ यूट्यूब विथ अलॉट ऑफ एटलिस एंड सो मेनी रिसोर्सेस लर्निंग इज ईजियर दस सो डॉक्टर ग्रैंडुलोमा इंगल क्रॉनिक रिलैपसिंग ग्रैंडुलोमैटस ग्रैंडुलोमैटस रिलैपसिंग Caused by Calimetobacter granulomatosis. It is painful, uh, sorry, painless nodule that will slough. It will leave a demarcated ulcer with a beefy red, friable base of granulation tissue. So, what you need to remember painless hai granuloma inguinal. Beefy red to go to high granuloma inguinal. Calimetobacterium is responsible for granuloma inguinal. These buzzwords should come back to your memory in the tomorrow's exam. Painful ulcer on the glands penis. That is chancroid. Right? Painful lymphadenopathy is lymphogranuloma vinra. So, quickly tell me, doctor. Lymphogranuloma venerum, chancroid and granuloma inguinal, main differences. Incubation period, 3 to 30 days in lymphogranuloma venerum. Chancroid is hemophilus ducrii, which is a gram-negative bacillus, 3 to 10 days. Clevisiella granulomatis, donovan bodies, they are the ones granuloma inguinal. Small, transient, painless, ulcer, vesicle, papule, often unnoticed. That is lymphogranuloma. But singular, multiple, painful ulcers, that is chancroid. Ulcers are hypertrophic granulomatous lesions, usually painless is granuloma inguinal. That is the fundamental difference. Here's your table hanger, doctor. पटा फट बट्टी मार के जाना है कल के एग्जाम के लिए ग्रैंडुलोमा इंग्विनेल के लिए भी एजिट्रोमाइसिन देते चैंक्रोइड के लिए भी एजिट्रोमाइसिन गुड बट लिंफो ग्रैंडुलोमा विनिरम के लिए डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन मेनली इज व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर स्कूल ऑफ फिश अपीयरेंस वेड यू सी
plus nuclei. So this is the school of fish, school of fish appearance. This all lead to genital ulcer, except what? Chancroid, HSV, LGV, all of them, gonorrhea only discharge, urethral discharge, not a genital ulcer is what you have to remember. Groove sign, where do we see groove sign is an important question doctor. We see it in the case of the lymphogranuloma venidum. So this is bilateral groove sign, bilateral groove sign. Due to that lymphadenopathy. Also, there is elephantiasis because of the lymphatic obstruction, is what you are able to see. This once more an example of groove sign because of the inguinal lymphadenopathy in case of lymphogranuloma venera. Multiple painful bleeding ulcers in venal bulbo. Where do we see? Chancroid. Chancroid. Chancroid is painful, chancre is painless. Please don't forget. So, chancroid presents with two things painful genital ulcers, which are often multiple, sharply defined edge, exudative base, bleed when traumatized. Inguinal lymph nodes, they are also tender, like LGV. Like LGV, even in chancroid. They are superative and they drain spontaneously. I am telling you, doctor, in the NEET PG exam, one question on one of these STDs I will change my name. It is my favorite topic for the examiner. Now, syphilis, chancroid, herpes, LGV, donovaniosis. How will you make a diagnosis of a genital ulcer? In syphilis, you do dark field direct immunofluorescence test and dark field examination. Aap sab ko hai. Chancroid, we do gram stain because of hemophilus. Then herpes antigen detection by doing direct um, immunofluorescence test, ELISA. Then lymphogranuloma venida, direct immunofluorescence staining in ELISA. And donovaniosis, calimidobacter. So genes are stained and tissue smear. Then for this hemophilus, you will be taking a Muller Hinton, chocolate horse blood, etc. etc. Herpes ke liye human deployed fibroblast cell culture. Then for LGV ke liye you can do cell culture, Hela 229, McCoy cells, etc. etc. So that is the story doctor. Now, chancroid is the lesion of hemophilus to create. Chancre is the lesion of syphilis. Chancres are painless. Chancroid is painful. Chancres are dry, non-exudative. Chancroid is gray or yellow, purulent, exudate is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, lichen planus, P, purple, papule, P, purple, right? P, polygonal, polygonal, papular, purple, lesions, P, pruritic. That is the description of lichen planus. 25 year old patient. Foreign Medical Graduate Exam MCI Screening Test 2016 Mala Lakshmi Bomb hai. Right? Now, violaceous lesions on the arm. What is your diagnosis? Lesion dekhte hi bolna, doctor. That this is a case of lichen planus. These are the pruritic papular polygonal purple colored lesions of lichen planus now on the lip 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 they go lip they go typically lower lip ke upar, you are having this lichen planus lesions in this case lichen planus is associated with what 
Pterygium of nail can happen. So these are the typical lichen planus which is involving the nails and leading to pterygium is what you should remember. Lichen planus on the lips and lateral border of the tongue, typical lesions. There is a oral mucosal involvement. These white striations of a non-erosive lichen planus in the left buccal mucosa which is called Wickham striae in case of lichen planus is what you should remember. Band-like infiltrate of lymphocyte, a band-like infiltrate of lymphocytes in the dermoepidermal junction and a saw-tooth, saw-tooth, retay ridges, where are the diagnostic? Lichen planus. So band-like lymphocytic infiltrate, Dr. Band dikhrena apko? Band, band, band dikhna. Nahi to examiner band bajayega. Band-like lymphocytic infiltrate. Then saw-tooth shaped retay. Saw-tooth. Saw-tooth shaped retay. Band-like infiltrate. Orthokeratosis. That is lichen planus. Once more, saw-tooth, 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 you're able to see, right? Appearance of retaridges and band-like retaridges, uh, lymphocytic infiltrate, lichen planus. Good to see Raghu Verma, little late, but latest arrival. Now, Is it available? Is it offline, doctor? Is it offline or you are comfortable? Right? The video is not stuck, right? Ha. Kabi kabi internet jara idar udar hota hai. Sibet to bodies. Where do we see, doctor? Like and plainness. Now let us once more. What are civet bodies? Apototic keratinocytes in the basal layer. You should not forget. What are they? Keratinocytes. Basal layer mein. Kaha hota hai? Like in penis mein. Civet bodies. Apototic keratinocytes in the basal layer. Hypergranulosis. You are able to see. Right? Huh. Then there is a lymphocytic infiltrate in, in the under surface of the epidermis. These are all the classical features. Right? Now, pterygium of the nail. Two minutes, doctor. I will restart. Please stay online.
Yeah, very good. Now it's back online. So just bear with me, doctor. Jaraj, uh, internet uh, is slightly shaky. Now, pterygium of the name, where do we see doc? In lichen planus. Vikham striae, lichen planus. And this image was given in one of the FMG exams. What is this? Where do we see? We see it in the case of lichen planus. That is all lichen planus. Next comes the acne. You know, clear seal advertisement mein kya aata hai, doctor? Oh, muhasu ali. But, you know, acne is more common in girls or boys? Who is going to give me the correct answer? Acne is more common in boys. In boys. Because... Acne is one of the testosterone dependent condition. Right. It is a testosterone dependent condition. Is what you need to basically remember. So, best treatment of a 24 year old female with the following lesions. So, you should recognize acne. That will be tetracycline. Tetracycline. So tetracyclines, doxycycline, minocycline, azithromycin, they're all used. Then during pregnancy lactation, you can't use tetracycline. So what will you use, doctor? Erythromycin. Then oral therapy in moderate to severe acne, right? Now, what is the whole pathophysiology of this acne vulgaris doctor? The pilosebaceous glands, they are oversensitive to the normal androgen levels after puberty. There is an increased sebum production and an oily skin. Keratinocytes remain adherent to the follicular canal that lead to ductal hypercornification, that lead to open comedone and a proliferation of the P. acnes, propionobacterium acnes and the bacterial enzyme will break down the oil in the sebum and that causes the release of the cytokines and that is the point where it becomes inflammatory acne is what you need to understand. About propionobacterium acnes, what is true? It's a normal flora of the skin, it causes acne vulgaris. It can be found in GI tract also. They're all the two statements. Now, propionobacterium acne. It is a gram-positive non-motile rod. Relatively slow growing. It is a aerotolerant anaerobic gram-positive bacteria. Is what you have to emphatically remember. Even staph epidermidis is also implicated in acne. It is a gram-positive cocaine, as all of you know very well. Now, severe cystic acne, what is the treatment you want to give? We want to give isotretinoin, keep punching the answers, doctor. Yeah, I think now just refresh the browser, doctor. Please refresh the browser. It should be all right. Now, this is how cystic acne typically looks like.
Så vi lige 